Hi folks, so a lot of people have been telling me that they can't get into Clockwork Mod Recovery, which just happened to me after installing the ice cream sandwich ROM. So I'll show you what happens. I hit uh, volume up and um, the power button. And then if I go to recovery, um, I will not get the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Instead I'll get the stock recovery no matter how many times I flash it uh, in fastboot. So, to get out of this, um, all you really gotta do is uh, um, just flash the recovery into the boot partition. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, connect, actually turn your phone off and go back into bootloader mode, volume up and power button. Um, whoops, I got into clockwork mode there. That's after I fixed the issue. Um, but let me show you again. Yeah, do it kind of quick. Sometimes it boots by itself. There we go. And then connect your um, USB cable there. Let's go to our computer. And open up a terminal and go to the Nexus S root new um, directory. If you don't have it, uh, if you root it using my methods at nexusshacks.com, you should have this. If you don't, download it again. No big deal. And you can type fastboot. Um, what, you use, what you do is fastboot flash boot recovery. Um, like that to install the recovery, but I did that and it didn't work. So if that happens to you, just do boot um, recovery 3101.img and it will, you know, boot you straight into Clockwork Mod Recovery um, to get you out of this mess. Right? And then you'll just get go straight into recovery. And then now you can access it and flash a new ROM and it should fix the uh, issue. It's the security issue if you're on one of the official ROMs, which I think the ICS is actually have the security feature. So that's about it. Um, if you can't get into clock remote recovery, just use that method. All right. Thanks, y'all.